Dwarf Shefalera. Hey, welcome to Eat Your Backyard, my YouTube channel, where I talk about all kinds of plants I like to grow. One that I like to grow is Dwarf Shefalera. Now, there's a gigantic version of Shefalera, which is, well, it's gigantic. Uh, this is the dwarf version, and it's dwarf. And there's two types of dwarf Shefalera. Uh, some people call Shefalera umbrella plant. Um, I don't. But uh, it produces these leaves, which are you know, kind of like an umbrella. Um, it also drops a lot of leaves, but with the dwarf Shefalera, I found it not to be a problem. They actually mow pretty well. The large ones, though, the, the leaf is is uh, as practically as long as my arm, and it has these tremendously huge seed pods that drop about a billion seeds constantly, so it's a whole different thing, but these glossy, ornate leaves that the Shefalera has are really incredible, and if you, if you treat it as a shrub and trim it often and fertilize it, it will grow very densely and just have this incredibly dense look to it. Now, I've, I have a kind of natural coquina rock wall that I built here and I grow it in here and it shades out most of the weeds so it, it's a really good thing here now I did I do have it in this case I have it at the base of a tree formed verbania that needs some more tree forming love to happen to make it more of a tree form but the, the idea is I want to have a shelf here and now that it's springtime I'm going to start doing this I have a shelf here and then accent which accents this this uh, uh, tree form plant and I have all kinds of, of uh, Dracaena. This is a Dracaena type of Dracaena. I have about six types of Dracaena now in my yard. Um, this is another type. And uh, those are kind of my vertical element. And then these are my low kind of shrub element in the yard. And they work well. And even got some croton here, which adds some accent. Uh, again, got, it's kind of stringy. You know, it, it's better probably if it's a little bit more well maintained. But now we're going to go ahead and start doing this. We're going to just go ahead and return this one back to the dirt. Uh, oh yeah, there's a little aloe. Gotta have the aloe. It's really possible very easily to have too much aloe. But yeah, Shefalera along the fence. Now it's mingling in with a couple other different types of uh, Dracaena. That's a Song of India, Song of Jamaica, etc. Um, but Really, it produces a nice kind of uh, backdrop. Problem with this is it hasn't been trimmed very much, so I need to get into it so that it looks more like this, you know, and less like this, where it's growing into other things that look much more organized. And you can see this tree formed, Dracaena, definitely needs some tree form attention. I need to get rid of these, these suckers, and so that I accent the canopy, which is what I want to go for. It's taken me a lot of years to get it to this point. When, when they're like this, you can generally just snap them right off and that's a, a good way to do it you could grow these actually quite easily as cuttings I just throw them back in and make a mulch again but you know we don't want to let them get too far or else they don't snap off easily but you can see how nicely they, they come off it's not really that big a deal now these won't I'll, I'll cut those with they won't they're already too big they got woody those make great cuttings though so I'll, I might use those um, but the ones that rub high they're easy enough to deal with I don't want these either there you go. That was easy enough. Easy enough. Not just two to go. Not a bad look. All right. Well, thanks. So that's the the Shefalera and Dracaena combo that I've got going. Uh, as you see, the, it's scraggly, right? So I'll descraggle it, and uh, I'm going to let the Dracaena go up. I'm going to have the Shefalera kind of a, a level plateau with the shrub effect and uh, that's a that's a good deal that's where I want it to be um, still recovering from the hurricane to some extent like I've said in several videos lately but but uh, yeah now now's the point where everything's kind of re reinvigorated uh, getting ready to fertilize the lawn too which will help with everything so hey if you like these kinds of videos then go ahead and subscribe to my youtube channel called eat your backyard where I talk about all kinds of edible and non-edible tropical subtropical plants and uh, other things too if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and uh, go ahead and leave a comment let me know what you think uh, and uh, be part of the discussion so hey thank you for watching eat your backyard